Solving trigonometric equations. Question 1. Determine exact solutions for sin x minus square root 2 over 2 equals to 0, where x is between 0 to 2 pi, both included. Now, this is the first video on solving trigonometric equations. In this set, I'm going to follow a strategy which I should discuss with you right in the beginning. One is that I have found students struggling to understand radians, right? They have been so used to degrees and they try to convert, they find their answer in degrees then convert to radians and things like that. So first thing is get used to radians. It's a much simpler unit to work with, right? Second part is that whenever you will have an equation like this, we will not really go for the direct solution. We will go for indirect solution. What I'm trying to say is that we'll, we'll find the related acute angle which will fit into our solution and then we'll find the real answer as the principal angle required. So when we say solution, then it is understood that we are interested in writing the principal angle which will solve this equation. Correct? Now, I'll follow this method like, like this. For example, whenever I have an equation here, I will try to get the solution or approximate solution of in which quadrant the answer lies. Okay, so this question is, so we'll, I'll explain you each step here. So this equation, sin x minus square root 2 over 2 equals to 0, can be rearranged and written as sin x is equal to square root 2 over 2. Correct? So, whatever the value of this fraction be, we know that it is always positive. Correct? It is always positive means that if I have a coordinate plane like this, then my solution should lie either in the first quadrant or in the second quadrant. Right? Remember the cast rule. C A S T. Correct? In the fourth quadrant, cos is positive. All are positive in first quadrant. Second quadrant, sin is positive. And in the third quadrant, tan is positive. So these are our quadrant numbers. Right? So we should always see a bigger solution first. And that is in which quadrant does the solution lie? Now we know 0 to 2 pi, that means we are looking for all the four quadrants, right? This is 0 for us, this is pi by 2, pi and 2 pi, correct? So 0, pi by 2, pi, and then this is 3 pi by 2, and after that we get 2 pi here. Do you see? That is what we are looking for. Now, so when I say that we are solving for related acute angle, that means that we know now that we have two solutions for this. One solution lies in this quadrant, correct? So maybe something like this. And the other one lies in this quadrant. So these are my two solutions. So what I will do in all my examples, find this solution. The first one, which I am saying alpha, related acute angle. Actually speaking, Related acute angle will be true for this also, right? And as you know, related acute angle is always positive and is from 0 to 90 degrees. Since we need a solution from 0 to 2 pi, definitely we'll have to add and subtract few terms, right? So that is the whole strategy. Now, we have sin x equals to square root 2 over 2, right? This is the right way of writing this kind of a rational thing, right? Because we normally don't write square root 2 in the denominator. But this can be simplified and seen as 1 over square root 2. I am doing it on purpose. Since most of my students are more familiar with a triangle which has square root 2 in the denominator, correct? So, let's make our special triangle which we are talking about. So, this special triangle which should give us the solution of this equation is the one which has pi by 2 in it. So I'll make my special triangle always. I think this is a good place to make. So this is a good place to make. So I'll make my special triangle here for you. So it's convenient and you can see there 
right on the top where the solution should be. Now if this is a 90 degrees and these two sides are equal for us then this angle should be, I should say this is pi by 2 and these two sides are equal for us then this should be pi by 4. Right? Pi by 4 is 45 and I don't mind saying uh, so what I'll do is pi by 4 and that is 45 degrees and these two angles should be equal also. Right? Now as you normally write, you write 1 here and this, if these two sides are 1 and 1, this is square root 2. So by now, you know your special triangles fairly well. So I'm not getting into those details. Now this shows that when we have 1 over square root 2, 1 over square root 2 for a sine leads to the angle of pi by 4. Correct? So, so that's our solution of related acute angle. Right? So we will always write the related acute angle solution and we say well our ang angle alpha to make this true is pi by 4. Right? Sine pi by 4 is 1 over square root 2 and that is one of the solutions. Now the angle which is x, x is our principal angle, always remember that. And therefore since sine x is positive in quadrant 1 and 2 we have two solutions. One, if you see Going from anti-clockwise, from positive x-axis, then first solution is this, which is angle alpha, and the second is this, correct? So that's the second angle. How much is this angle? This angle is pi minus pi by 4, correct? That is the solution, right? So therefore, we have two solutions to this, and we will write, well, our solution to this is, now I'm writing solution here, right? I've all, I've explained you, but now let me write. Our solution is x is equals to 1 pi by 4. Since sine is positive in quadrant 1, that acute angle is also the principal angle in our quadrant system between 0 to 2 pi. And the other one is pi minus pi by 4, which is 3 pi by 2. Sorry, 3 pi by 4. 3 pi by 4. So, see, let me do it again. Pi minus pi by 4. Correct? That is this, which I am showing by orange. So, when you take common denominators, you get 4 pi by 4, right? 4 pi minus pi is 3 pi by 4. That's the way most of my students would be doing. But you can count and pi is radians so easy, right? So, what we have done here is, so pi by 4 means dividing a quadrant, each it into equal halves to get pi by 4. So this is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4. So you can literally count. You don't really have to do that complicated math, right? So 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, 3 pi by 4 and that's how I get my answer. x equals to pi by 4 or 3 pi by 4. I hope you understand and appreciate the method and I'm trying to make it so simple uh, for you. Once we do few videos in this fashion, you will get used to my method and that will be great, right? Let me redraw my solution here to show you how I counted pi by 4s, right? So what I really did was, I got pi by 4 as one of my acute angles. So I drew that angle pi by 4. Pi by 4 will bisect the quadrant 1 and the, therefore what I will do is I will write another pi by 4. These are my two pi by 4s. But really, we are interested in the acute angle and well, I mean, the principal angle, right? So the principal angle, one answer is this, which is pi by 4. The other answer is 1 pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, and 3 pi by 4. That's the other answer, right? So these are my two answers, pi by 4 and 3 pi by 4. And that makes this statement true. And therefore, that is the solution for this trigonometric equation. And that's how we are going to solve it. Thank you.